that's Westwood. Uh, that's where we're heading. Uh, the wood, which is uh, mixed woodland, uh, looms over the River Wye as it heads towards Ross on Wye. Would you like to see an old 1930s, 40s Bedford truck? It's one of my favourite places to stop by on the way to Westwood. And uh, this is a real treat. If you do, come with me. Whoops. Camera's pointing in the wrong way. They're blocking this up now, look. Preventing people from having having a peek. But here we are, we can still get in, look. I'll take my take take my bag off. Whoop. Seems to get older every time I look at it. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Old Bedford trucklet. It's a beauty. Let's get in. Yeah, it's a beauty. Check out this old farm machinery. That would have been pulled by horse once upon a time. Check it out. That old dashboard. Real ventilation system, look. <laughs> look at this. That's how it was. No automatic stuff back in the day. Of course, um, birds have made uh, this old Bedford truck uh, home now. So, yeah, this nest has been here for years and uh, nobody's ever touched it. And I've photographed it on numerous occasions. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, eh? What a beauty. That has been there for years and years and years. There you go. Bedford. The old mill at Mordeford. It's a really old farm this. It's 
still got quite a decent orchard. Yeah, these old Herefordshire orchards. It's not a remembrance video or anything, but Paul and I would pass through this orchard a lot. It was uh, a favorite spot, nice and quiet at the base of Westwood. We've sat in here and had a brew on a number of occasions. None of it filmed, but yeah. We were always out the back here. And we're heading off into Westwood now. We're gonna get to the top of the hill, right into the wood, and then we're gonna drop down and come back in a loop through a valley, uh, which, yeah, Paul and I have enjoyed on many occasions. All right, let's go. Beautiful, Look where we are. That's the hilly side of Herefordshire. Off woods through there. Checkley beyond. It's like a, a mini national park out the back there. It's really beautiful, I'll do a video one day. Any ideas as to uh, who's dropping that is? It's in a wood. It's small. It's not a rabbit. It's not a badger. It's not a fox. What could it be? <clears throat> okay, going uphill. We're in Westwood now. And uh, I'm heading for um, a camp spot I've used before. <clears throat> and I'm gonna come back this way and just get warmed up for wild camping. Of course I haven't been out since Paul since Paul died. I'm starting to get some strength back. So I'll show you this camp spot. It's really neat. It's a really really plum spot. <laughs> I had a great time here last time I came. Did the review for a tarp. But in fact, I never uploaded it. I might upload it because I still use the tarp. It's a good one. I'll consider that. Meanwhile, I'm going to walk. <laughs> now then, this spot is just off the trail. And it's right here. Here's where I was last. Just a really subtle gradient.
but it's a really nice quiet spot. As I say, it's just off the trail. There's the trail. But before you know it, you've passed the spot and you're on your way. You could go deeper in, you could go there. Either, either one, whichever you choose, it's just really nice here, it's quiet. Nobody's, nobody's gonna bother you late at night or early morning. How much do I love it here? I love it a lot here. It's a good space. I fill it. I've entered it. And it consumes me in a ambient way right now. Just soaking up its ambience. Very healing. No barriers. Repulsion. See in there, in the urban environment, in the in the human sphere, if you like, it's constant repulsion, isn't it? Where's this down, you know? Just where's this down? <clears throat> That's what competition is. It's re repulsion. It's repellent. That damages you. Damages people. I just feel receptive here. I don't don't feel any repulsion. That's why we get out, isn't it? To experience that reception, you know, <laughs> so we can broadcast beautiful things. What my brother Paul say? He says you have to be a good receiver before you can be a before you can be a good broadcaster. Very true. Den building. Group of young people, I'd imagine. A 
no experienced woodsman would uh, leave it like this in a bit of a mess beautiful piece of wood check this out Why? Wow. that would look nice in your garden wouldn't it If I had a truck down the bottom of the wood there, I'd put that in it, I'd go back to a studio, I'd treat it for a week or so, and I'd sell it for £3,000 in London. <laughs> you can do that, can't you? Yeah, no, um, outdoor gear today, no stoves or anything, I am purely practical really to be honest, I thought about bringing my stove out and I thought well what's the point, I can fill a flask, really, in all honesty, my stove sets and whatnot, they're truly for long distance hiking. And that's pretty much all I use them for. If I'm out on a day like this, I bring a flask, a bite to eat, and I keep it simple. I don't tend to build fires either. So I'm walking. <laughs> walking is my thing. And uh, as soon as I'm confident that I'm fit, uh, I'll start running and uh, swimming again. I haven't ran or swam since Paul died. And uh, on Wednesday, guys, I can I can tell you that I had my angiogram on Wednesday. And um, I cried all the way through it. I cried all the way through it. It should have been Paul lay there being tested. But it wasn't. It was me. And it was because Paul died that I was checking out my health. A little Robin. So I felt very emotional. Hey, little Robin. <laughs> You can show yourself. You can come back or or what? I'll follow the robin. That's what I'll do. I was going to go left, but I'll go. I'll go the way the robin is showing me. That is what they call the path of weird. You know the word weird. Uh, do you know where it comes from? It's a druid word, and it means web. The web of weird. You know, uh, everyone has uh, used that word at some point, haven't they? Weird, man. That was weird. Well, that's where it comes from. It's a druid saying. And it means the web. And that robin was just on the web. So, I am following the path of weird right now. <coughs> See where it leads me. Yeah, so, I got my arteries checked out. Had my angiogram. And um, apart from a little high cholesterol, my arteries apparently are pretty good. So, you know, it was bittersweet. I was relieved because I've waited weeks for it. And yet I was sad because Paul died of a coronary thrombosis. I know why. It's because he was training hard. And I mean, we were, we were elite athletes years ago. 
in the world of swimming or running. And we trained to be in the parachute regiment as well. And uh, hard training is all we were taught, you know, to go into cardio debt. And uh, of course, you get older, you build up cholesterol and your arteries plaque and they narrow. This is why many middle-aged people get short of breath. Um, <clears throat> but Paul, he was hitting the trails and hitting the swim sets like he was 18 years of age. I was doing some hard training, real hard training. I was pushing it. But Paul was out there more than me, in all fairness. You know? And, um, of course you're forcing blood through a narrow vessel, through a vessel that is plaqued up over the years at high pressure and um, and you're doing it repeatedly and it's not good for you apparently and um, of course eventually uh, during a hard swim set you know and you can imagine that Paul had been training that way for some years forcing blood through a narrow vessel at high pressure to get oxygen to the heart and uh, a tiny bit of plaque ruptured and that was it bang you're not escaping that are you it wasn't that Paul wasn't fit or active he was just unfortunate you know many other athletes have uh, gone through similar experiences and ended up dead you know they dropped dead on their bikes you know top cyclists Somebody told me a story the other day about a, a cyclist they knew who was fit and a triathlon and a triathlete. You know, dropped dead, boom. High pressure through that narrow vessel. So watch it, people, when you're approaching our age. You know, because you do build up cholesterol and your arteries do plaque up. You know, it, it's you throw in the dice, really. This is why when I go back training, I'm gonna kind of soften it a bit you know a bit of gentler running keep running and uh, not so hard swimming because I do hundreds after hundreds after hundreds you know racing the clock get into real cardiovascular debt you know anyway that's it for now still continuing through Westwood here we are, look, the gnarly wood. We're right on the ridge now. This is a good walk, I've walked this before. Through there is the River Y, and over there is the Black Mountains. Yeah, recommended, guys. This this uh, walk, if you're from Herefordshire or even beyond, Westwood, and this leads to. Um, what is known as Fown Hope Park. It's all connected. And um, there's just woodland everywhere around here. It's beautiful, I recommend it. All right. Beautiful. Don't you just love it out here? Full of green space, woodland, valleys, gullies, yeah it's great out here.
<clears throat> this is the valley I was speaking of. The wood you just saw there is the start of Hoff Wood. This valley cuts through Westwood and Hoff Wood. Another big stretch of woodland. Now I'll put some um, information in the description so if you check below you'll see some uh, web links to the Wool Oak Dome area. Which is a bit of a hotbed for walkers and mountain bikers and campers and bushcrafters. They all get out here. So that's what we've just walked through on top of that ridge through the wood all the way through now I'm going to sit at the base of an oak tree that Paul and I definitely loved sitting by. <laughs> and we used to look out at Westwood, uh, having been out all day, and just, you know, savour the last moments of the day, like I'm doing now. So it must be about four o'clock maybe. And I'm heading off back into Hereford. We've not done the full loop yet, we've not, we've not out of the valley yet, but uh, I've got about another about another kilometre and a bit and then we're heading off back into town then but this is uh, this is our oak tree this this is the Paul and Mark oak tree <laughs> sat here many times underneath that beauty right there and just look out upon westward and across the way Enjoy a brew like I'm gonna do now. Hello old tree, hello old friend. How are you today? Your power, your majesty, your 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 love is resonant. <laughs> I'm gonna sit sit with you and have a cup of tea. You know, if you haven't got hordes of friends out there. You know, because everyone's busy doing their own thing. A tree will always keep you company. See this little hut here? Paul and I saw this as uh, like a little bothy. We wondered whether or not the owners of this place would allow us the use of this shed for running and training, really, to be honest. See in there? Good little space. All right. <laughs> anyway, see you, See this new? The idea was to ask the landowner if we could use it for running. 
and fitness and whatnot. You alright? No, no problem, mate. I'm just going through some thoughts. Uh, kind of reminiscing, if you like. Yeah, because uh, I used to walk lots down here and still do. And my brother and I used to have an idea for that shed once upon a time for running. We were going to ask the landowner if we could use it for running and uh, put, kind of create a running club. Oh, I see. That, that could run the trails around here. I see. And put their kit in it. I see. You know, it's my like twin of 48 years, you know. Yeah. Well, you've always been together, haven't you? We have. Yeah. 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 You've probably seen us out here, have you? No, no, but people. we're always watchful. Yeah. Um, Becky works here on the farm, so we're always right. watching out for what people are doing. Yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah. Is it? Is it your farm or...? No, I no? wish. No, no. no. The guy I work but for. we've got horses here, so oh, right. we're, you're always watchful with people around with right. horses. It's a public right of way, sure, but um, yeah. you're yeah. aware of yeah. terrible things get done to horses. So. Oh, blimey, I've been through here hundreds of times in my life in these woods. Yeah. Me and, I just see me and Paul in them now. Yeah. You know, in all the trails. Oh, that's good. To have know. those memories and rekindle them. Uh, that oak tree down there. Yeah. We've sat there and had brews lots of yeah. times, you know. Just brews? Just brews. Just, <laughs> just brews. brews. I don't drink so. <laughs> and look, looked at Westwood and it's funny because I just felt really comforted by that tree then. Yeah, just being here. It just sat next yeah. to that tree that we'd always sat next to. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a good thing to do. Yeah. Because sometimes just going to a place then brings a the memory back. You need the cue, don't you, to bring up the memory. Well, they're power points, these yes. places. Yes. They invoke that's right. that that's right. sense yeah. of place, you know. Yes, yeah. Memories. And, uh, and positive times. Absolutely. Yeah. Question is, is there anything good in that shed? I've never been in there. It's empty, mate. Neither's David. It's empty. The other day we were walking along and they said, oh, I own that shed. I've never been in it. Yeah. So David, uh, not David, Jane um, goes around there before a ride. For a little week. I think so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> good on her. Well, hey. no, I, I keep a little port loo in the horse box. Yeah, it's natural enough, you know. I suppose so. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no shame in that. Not at but, all. Uh, she went round there the other day and thought, what is Jane doing? And then she came out a few minutes later and it was obvious where she, Jane had been. So yeah. I just thought, OK, fair enough. Said, Jane, you can use my portaloo anytime. Turn this camera off, usually for YouTube. Hey guys, this is who we're talking to. <laughs> All right. Hello. This is the secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these two wonderful ladies here. So that will wrap round things, will it? Well, that's pretty much the end of the loop, end of the walk. Uh, I'm going to put the camera away. We're back at the orchard uh, where we started the loop around Westwood, through Westwood and around it. Of course, we started in Hereford, four miles that way. So I'm going to sit in this orchard for a bit. And just you know soak up the rest of the day it's another power spot you got these power spots haven't you where you live and this is one of them for me I'm gonna go and sit over here well that's it for today hope you enjoyed it guys nice little much through Westwood uh, nice chat with the ladies there's some highlights there uh, the old Bedford truck uh, the ridge on the on the Westwood there the beautiful oak where Paul and I used to sit and the area in general which is just amazing this orchard so yeah if you've uh, got any comments about this walk uh, the details of which are below uh, please don't hesitate to express your thoughts uh, if you'd like to like please do and uh, if you want to subscribe uh, look forward to your company well that's it from Herefordshire that's it from me uh, until next time, take care.